Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And we are going to launch a new series on Terraform. So those who don't have any idea about Terraform and want to learn Terraform, then this playlist is for you. So do watch this playlist for better understanding of Terraform and a deep dive will be happening in this playlist and today we are going to learn more about terraform so in this lecture we are going through a brief overview of what terraform is and how can we implement it so without wasting any time let's get started so basically terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool now what is an infrastructure as a code right so basically infrastructure as a code tool is one such platform in which you can configure your infrastructure with the help of a code or you can say a configuration file okay so basically there is a code that will have the detailed infrastructure configuration okay with the help of which we'll be creating the infrastructure now first of all we'll take an example okay so for considering if you want to create an aws ec2 instance on your cloud okay so for that what you need to do is you first need to directly go to the aws management console and you create it right but instead of going through gui if i consider a code if i write a code on it which will configure my EC2 instance automatically, then it will be a much better approach, which will also avoid manual errors, right? So why do we use them, first of all? Because while directly implementing it, there may be some human errors, which can lead to wastage of time as well as costing. So for that, we make use of these infrastructure as a code tools. Okay, so infrastructure as code tools like Terraform allow you to manage the infrastructure using configuration files rather than through graphical user interface. Okay, like previously we considered AWS cloud formation, which was specifically used for AWS resources, right? But with Terraform, you can use this particular infrastructure as a tool with different cloud platforms including Azure, GCP or AWS. Okay, so let's move forward. So basically it allows you to build, manage and change in a safe, consistent and repeatable way. So you can use it repetitively, the same code that you have written okay so you can use it multiple times in different environments also right so this is it you can see over here that we simply write infrastructure as a code and then after applying after planning and applying them this particular cloud we get our infrastructure ready to be implemented okay now, what are the advantages of this? You get multiple cloud platforms. Like I already said that you can work with Terraform on multiple platforms of cloud, right? It also uses the human readable configuration language. This language that we use is very easy and you can easily understand what you want to actually mention right there okay then we can track the resources with state okay so what is the concept of state that is something that we'll be learning in the later section of this playlist but if you want to know what a state is i would like to give you a brief overview on it like basically with the help of state you can identify or keep the track of what is the state of your resources okay so it is very important to understand or interpret the desired state right 
with the help of terraform we can collaborate with terraform cloud also so there is one such concept of terraform cloud as well which we'll be learning later but so basically over here you are going to collaborate with terraform cloud now there we have got few plugins that is providers that let our terraform interact with the cloud platforms and other services via apis okay let's wait so basically what are providers i already said that with the help of terraform you can configure infrastructures right and that too on different clouds so in order to interact with different cloud platforms we require few plugins okay and those plugins are known as providers and these are the providers with the help of which we can interact with the cloud platforms so it has got these providers as well okay then Terraform's configuration language that is HCL is declarative that it describes the desired end state of your infrastructure. So we make use of HashiCorp configuration language. Okay, we don't use JSON or Python or whatever. We make use of this particular language, which is very simple to understand, in order to configure our infrastructure on different cloud platforms. So this Terraform has its own language. Then Terraform providers automatically identify the dependencies between the resources to create or destroy them in the correct order. Now this is a very crucial point. Okay, so. basically what happens is if you consider if you have a good knowledge of aws then you must know that what is a vpc right and we must have created vpc along with an ec2 instance that is on that particular vpc right so in order to understand the dependencies right so for example in this case wherein we consider vpc as well as ec2 our ec2 is dependent on vpc right because we are going to create a vpc and then we are going to create our ec2 instance that is associated with that vpc right so in this case our ec2 instance is dependent on vpc so if we want to identify the dependencies between the resources we must understand that first we'll have to create a vpc and then ec2 instance we can't go the other way around right so in that case what is important is that terraform identifies it that yes i need to create vpc first and then after that i will have to create ec2 because ec2 is dependent on vpc so this is something that terraform identifies automatically which is a very important role that is played by terraform for us right okay so this is what it is and now we come to the steps that we need to follow okay so now that we have understood how terraform is very useful to us we will now try to understand what all steps we need to perform in order to configure our infrastructure with terraform okay so the first step that we are going to do is will identify the infrastructure of your project okay for example i already said that if we want to create a vpc and we also need some subnets for it then what we are going to do is we'll first identify it like yes i want to create vpc then subnets then ec2 so identification of the infrastructure becomes one such important stuff okay then after that we need to write the configuration 
okay so once we know what all things we need to create we are going to just write the configuration for that particular infrastructure which you have already identified right then after this what we are going to do is we'll be initializing there is a command in terraform that is terraform init with the help of which we'll be initializing the configuration now what do we actually do in initialization we actually install the required terraform providers now i already explained you what terraform providers is it is nothing but a plugin with the help of which we will be connecting to different cloud platforms right so in order to actually implement it we require it to initialize okay so we'll be doing that with the help of terraform in it now once it's done we'll go to plan section now what is plan thing so basically before actually implementing those changes to terraforms cloud or any other cloud what we need to do is we need to preview it okay so whatever the changes that are going to happen we can directly do them right we need first to preview it that whether the changes uh, are required changes or is there anything that we need to change in it to make it better or do we want to add anything else so for that we require this particular step that is plan wherein we preview the changes of terraform then after that we'll be applying these changes to the terraform cloud okay so whatever is planned is now going to execute with the help of this apply okay and that we can do with the help of terraform apply command plan can be done with terraform plan command initialization can be done with terraform initial init command sorry okay so in this way we can implement terraform and configure the infrastructure using terraform so hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates thank you so much and have a nice day